about a friendly game of college. Mr. Mayor, get your seat there and tell us uh, what brings you to my saloon. I've got a proposition for you, Mr. Peacock. Go ahead, I'm listening. Johnny Barnes and his bunch of uh, cutthroats and cold partner and want to offer you the job of here. You leave me alone, you clown! I appreciate the offer. But my lawman days are over. Yeah, I made a promise to my new bride, Miss Agnes, that I'd find me a safer way to earn my keep. I'll make you this promise. I won't leave you high and dry. If I see some trouble brewing, well, I'll help you take care of it. This one's on me. You don't owe me a thing. my friends some tobacco. When I get back, best not be here. You take this one with you. And back to camp and sober up. And if you sober up, you're welcome to come back. Alright? Understand? After our little brawl, Johnny Varnes and his bunch of Montana cowboys weren't too happy with me, so a quick plan was set in motion. Now, after I got California's tobacco from the general store, I kept noticing a pair of eyes following me. It was one of those Montana cowboys that Johnny Varnes kept around as a gunman. <laughs> he had six of those Montana cowboys, and all would speak about killing me from time to time. On one occasion, I caught all six in a room and got to drop on them, and I told them, I understand that you cheap would-be gunfighter from Montana. Well, you've been making remarks about me, and I want you to understand, and lest to stop, there will be shortly a number of cheap funerals in Deadwood. Now, I've come to town not to court notoriety, but to live in peace, and I will not stand for insult. Well, that's what I told him. Well, as I headed toward the stable to saddle up and ride out, I was determined to find out who those pair of eyes belonged to. Well, it's about time you made your move. You know, I've had my eye on you ever since I went into the general store to get my friends some tobacco. And 
I saw you sitting at the back table with Johnny Barnes over at the saloon. I went back inside to make sure them cavalry boys left. Got just one question for you. Did you come up with this idea on your own, or Johnny Barnes put you up to this? Mr. Barnes hired me. Well, just so you know, the Colt 36 pointing at your belly button underneath this saddle. Now, if you're lucky enough to pull that hog leg, you can do so. I'll give you a choice. Pull that hog leg or saddle up your horse and we'll ride opposite directions. Mr. Barnes will never know the difference. Now, what's your choice going to be? Wise choice. There's not enough gunmen in Montana to keep me out of saloon number 10 or any other saloon in Deadwood after this day. Out of spite, I'll play cards as often as California and the boys are letting me out of camp. <laughs>